Hello YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to give you a, a very short video and explain uh, pretty much how you disassemble a P3AT, Caltech P3AT, and organization I found is a huge thing. Therefore, I want to show you this. It's just a little box, and I think it's honestly everybody should have that, especially if you have a couple of handguns or whatnot. I'll open the box and show you what's inside it, and um, if you don't want to watch this and you just want to watch the Caltech strip, move over, fast forward to this time right here, and you can watch that, and hopefully you'll come back and watch this later because I think it is uh, very important. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what's inside this little nifty box right here. Open it up, and as you can see, everything's laid out. And I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what's in here. First, I have um, some REM oil with Teflon lubricant, it's cleaning chemicals, oil, whatever. Um, I'm not here to uh, tell you about specific products. You might think this is shit, you might think this is amazing. It's all uh, nice and dandy. You use whatever you want. Uh, the whole point is I'm telling you what I have in here and you know what you should have in there as well. So first thing you should have in here is a little can, something that will fit in your box of solvents or chemicals, cleaning, uh, diesel oil, wh whatever, you, whatever you use to um, clean your gun and lube it. Second thing I have in here, which I think is important, when I'm wearing gloves, always wear gloves. I don't get any of that nasty stuff and lead residue and whatever you use on your fingers. So in a little Ziploc bag, I have these latex-free gloves that I got from AutoZone. Pretty cheap. And they're honestly they're, they work wonders. Uh, third thing I have in here is my cleaning rod. Notice I don't have the the long attachment because this is my handgun cleaning box, and uh, I got my um, cleaning rod here and the um, the handle for it. Um, some uh, some people like to use the T handle because you can actually grab it. I mean, like I said, uh, nothing specific as far as uh, products or brand names, but use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, third thing I have here is a little casing. Inside, I don't know how well you can see, but let's move this here. Inside, I'll start with what I have here, is I have these little pairs of scissors. They're very nifty. Very little, and they're very sharp. I mean, I could use them, I can't even begin to tell you, what, you know, you're cleaning your gun and you want to you wanna cut your bore patches or resize them. I mean, it's, it's something indispensable that you need. Moving on, um, I have here my brass my brass bore jag and um, these jags are brass I don't like the plastic ones uh, I, I feel they're flimsy so per your caliber of your gun you know get some uh, brass um, jags also have some uh, bore mops I like them at the end right before I uh, put a thin layer of oil and just make sure everything's out of there that's left q-tips Get some Q-tips, not the flimsy ones that will end up spiking and looking like Elvis Presley's hair after you're done with it. And last, but definitely not least, you got your bore brushes. Again, caliber specific to your gun. If you want, if you use chamber brush brushes instead, uh, then use your chamber brushes. But that's what I have in this case right here. I have this little blue case right here, and inside I have uh, different size uh, bore patches. Again, that's why I have the scissors. You want them bigger, you want them smaller, you can use them. Some napkins, and uh, this is just a cleaning kit that came with my AK-47. Uh, it's in the... or the AKM. I don't want these uh, AK-47 and AKM uh, fanatics and fanboys to uh, correct me on this. But I have a bump fire stock on it, so I just toss it in here now. And all in, in a nutshell, that's what uh, I have in my um, my cleaning uh, box. And uh, to be honest with you, most of the time, I used to be uh, too lazy to clean my gun or whatever. But 
honestly, this thing right here is, I love it, I mean, you just grab it, you don't have to go here to grab this and go over there to grab that, you just grab this, open it, clean your gun, done, it's, it, try it, and I guarantee you, you will you'll clean your gun more, more often, and you actually have fun cleaning it. Yeah, moving on to what this video was originally about is my Caltech P380. Here it is. Good old Caltech P380. Um, I'm not here again to talk about uh, different calibers and oh, this is too weak and the 22 is too weak and the 45 ACP and the 45 Colt is better. I'm not here to talk about that. I don't care who you are. If I put a couple of these in someone, they're not going to be happy, and that's all I care about. I'm not looking to drop an elephant. I carry this on personal protection. Um, I, even with the extended mag here that I'll show you in a minute, I can carry concealed and not have a problem with it. And the fact that it's a 380 auto is more than enough for me. And if you would be okay with getting shot with a 380, then hey, good for you. But I wouldn't. So. This gun does its job for me and uh, I'm happy with it. First I want to show you, obviously, first thing you got to do is clear your gun. Alright, first thing I want to show you is the uh, extended uh, Mechgar magazine that I bought. Mechgar, uh, for you guys who don't know, Mechgar is the same company that made the original magazine for the gun. And uh, they're very, very reputable, and uh, the magazines are top-notch, and um, I love them. Um, the original magazine holds six rounds. This one holds nine, so you can have six plus one with this, and nine plus one with this. Um, that's not the biggest um, advantage, I think. The biggest advantage to me was the grip and the feel of the gun afterwards. I'll show you here real quick. With this magazine, when you grab the gun, see how you only have two fingers? So I'd end up after a couple of shots having to, like, I'd go pow, 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 and then I'd, I'd have to, you know, re-grab the gun and all that. But the biggest advantage with this one now is when I grab it, I got all three fingers on it, and it can actually have a very nice grip and very stable. So, very well made magazine, and uh, I recommend if you have this gun and you carry it a lot and you actually enjoy this gun, get it, it would, you'll actually enjoy the gun even more. Next thing I got was a uh, Crimson Trace uh, laser right here. I got it at a gun show, pretty cheap. I got it for like around $50. Uh, I think if you go to the website, they go for around two or 300 uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, exactly what it is. But this laser, um, allowed me to shoot very very accurately at about 10 feet with this laser I could uh, shoot um, the caps off Pepsi bottles just the caps alone Here, I don't know if you can see you know. and uh, I don't have you know to close one eye and look down the iron sights anymore the the laser alone was pretty accurate um, get one of your bullets slide the pull the slide back there's a couple of ways to do it. You can either hold it like this. I, I like what I do is I pull the slide back and I put my finger right here in the middle. I don't know how well you can see. Just like that. And I hold it open. Uh, I'm going to try to do it this way. That way you guys can see. I might fumble a little bit because I'm not used to doing it like this. I'm just doing it like that. So you pull the slide back and you hold it open. Okay. And right here you have a little pin, right there. And you slide your rim of the bullet under it, and you just pop it up. Very simple. Let the slide back nice and easy. Pull your pin out. Don't lose it. Put it somewhere. Now push your whole slide forward. And pull it out. Here's your frame. Put your frame aside. Now here's the here's your slide basically, and um, first thing you gotta do is take your guide rod out with your springs. 
So over here, your guide rod is uh, held a little notch right there. And that little notch is what holds the guide rod and it springs in place. So what you gotta do is push it forward with your thumb and make sure it doesn't fly off. Up and there goes your, uh, your, uh, your uh, guide rod. Pull your guide rod with the two springs aside. Pull your chamber out. Like so. Here goes your chamber. And that's pretty much it. Take your guide rod and the springs out. And here you go. You have all your parts now. You have your, uh, your pin. You have your frame. You have your magazines. You have your chain. And uh, your slide. Everybody has their own way of cleaning it. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, what to grease, and you know, just go ahead and clean the slide. It gets dirty sometimes, just to show you. I'm just gonna run my finger right here, and it's already black, basically. Try to clean, especially lube the area where the uh, where the tip of your chamber meets the, uh, the slide right here. Try to clean that right here, basically, it's lube it. Look down in your chamber, make sure it's clean. That's pretty much how you disassemble it. Now to reassemble it, start by uh, putting your smaller spring into the bigger spring. And put your guide rod back in. Now get your get your chamber. Put your chamber back in the uh, slide. And right here, I don't know what you can see. But right here, there's a little notch, and that's where the, the head of your guide rod sits. Over here, put the end of your uh, guide rod and springs into this hole right here. And push it in to compress your springs. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to push the head of your spring in all the way and compress the springs up until the head of your uh, guide rod sits in this notch right here. So, you push that in, and, oops, my phone's going off, we'll just give it And that's where it sits right there. Alright, now your uh, chamber is in place. So, it's pretty much all you gotta do. You grab your slide, and right here it has the little tracks they go on these little tracks basically so you put them right here and you slide it back all right? now what you gotta do to put your uh, pin back in is it might be a little tricky not honestly first time after the first time you'll be able to get it if, if your slide is in the rest position and you try to put your uh, pin in it, see it kinda goes in halfway but you won't be able to push it in what you gotta do is you gotta push your slide back ever so slightly and push it. That's it. And then you let your slide go. And that's that's all you gotta do. Once it's in, make sure it functions, make sure everything's fine. Put your magazine back in. Test it out, make sure it ejects the bullet, which it does, and you are done. And that is how you disassemble your P380 to clean it, or if you're bored like me sometimes and you just like to play with your guns, that's, that's pretty much how you do it. Load your gun, back up. I always carry my gun with nine and one in the chamber. Put it back in. And you're done. If you have any um, requests or um, any comments, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to make uh, videos. Um, I have a, have a couple of rifles as well. Uh, I just bought a Romanian AKM. And, uh, I just like doing these videos and I'll be doing more so if you if you like them just press like and uh, send me a message or anything and ask me for any requests I'll be more than happy to uh, do them and uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll catch you later and always be safe.